UK yep. is the um, um, is the first country to approve the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine with distribution to start next week. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so it's over. All right. <laughs> are we done? Our show is are, finished. Are we down That's with it. COVID? Boris Johnson declared that the nation is no longer resting on the hope of a return to normality by spring, but instead a certain knowledge that people can reclaim their lives, lives as he hailed the arrival of a newly approved COVID vaccine. He has certain knowledge that people... Yeah, thanks, Chris. It's funny to, to see how, how glued we are to, you know, just thinking about this whole change that is happening in a very superficial way. I want to talk about the phenomenon of what is happening right now in 2020. There is the, the you know, there is a worldwide pandemic changing the face of humanity as if rushing to change so many things. And we are trying to solve it with a vaccine, which is not a bad thing to do, but are we... Uh, what I want to talk about is, are we ignoring the bigger effects of this phenomenon and the bigger message? And if we are in a natural system where everything's connected, people, viruses, and everything in between, then is it possible that if we just focus on the vaccine and whether it works or not, and whether it takes us back to our economy as quickly as possible and to everything we knew uh, uh, 10 months ago or whatever, if we focus just on that, is it possible that we are killing the messenger instead of reading the message? Is it possible that, that and I'm going to take it even further, is it possible that if we actually are missing the message here, and are trying to kill the messenger, we might even be inviting upon ourselves more harsher, you know, uh, balancing forces from the natural system. If we understand that nature is a single interconnected system, if we understand that we are in that system, part of it, not in control of it, we are bound by it by its laws as well, then there's two trends that are becoming revealed like you said one is that here's our nature this is what we are towards each other we've be, we've come we've grown we've grown to a point where there is a um a um, extreme and extreme dissonance uh, uh, between us and on the other hand we're also dependent on each other we are completely interdependent. We are a global network, the global human network, the global human family. We are connected to each other and our well-being is interdependent. And if that's the case, then we have to find beyond just a vaccine. And again, I want to make it clear. We're not you know, uh, here to tell you to go get the vaccine or not get the vaccine and all that. We're here to tell you that if you look from a global, holistic, connected perspective, then you see this COVID as not a, a random, anomalous kind of problem that we need to solve on a biological level. It's just a symptom of a systemic kind of uh, change that we need to go through. And that change is becoming conscious of our interconnection and beginning to live in balance with it and until we do that nature is only going to push us and nudge us in this direction and it may hurt even more than what we're seeing right now so that's what we need to get get into our hearts into our minds in 2020, I would say, that we depend on each other. That's the first step.